With the draft quickly approaching, the rumors are starting to fly. The Jets have been linked to Henry Ruggs. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, I will be going live with Gangrene David, Matt O'Leary, and Green Bean for the first night of the draft. So make sure you tune in at 7 o'clock if you want to have a live virtual draft party with us. Uh, and we could be looking at potentially Henry Ruggs as our number one overall selection. So let's jump right into the report. There's, you know, rumors swirling around that the Jets are eyeing Henry Ruggs very closely. So they're keeping tabs on this situation. Henry Ruggs is generally thought of as the third receiver of, you know, Judy, Lamb, and Ruggs. I just did my wide receiver video yesterday where I said that Ruggs was my number four, which isn't necessarily that I believe he is the fourth best wide receiver. It's just that I kind of want him fourth of the top five, if that makes sense. So what are you getting out of Ruggs? This guy runs 4-2 speed. He is absolutely electric. He does way more than just a receiver. He is a like a decoy. He is a uh, just, just an absolute end-around type weapon. He has insanely fast speed on the field. He definitely compares to a Tyree kill without the domestic abuse <laughs> like attributes. Like Ruggs is a really cool guy. I'm definitely, I like Ruggs. In his time at Alabama, Ruggs averaged about 40 catches and 740 yards. And that doesn't sound too impressive until you consider that in those three years, he had a hundred touches at Alabama. Still not surprising, but 25 of those went for touchdowns. So t a quarter of the time, 25% of the time, this dude touches the ball, it goes for a touchdown. He is absolutely a home run threat. This is the second time the Jets are being linked to rugs. The first time was back at the combine when Joe Douglas said, speed builds pressure, pressure bursts pipes. Green Bean, I got that quote right. Um, <laughs> so we're being connected to him twice. This is definitely the uh, type of player that can blow the top off of a defense and absolutely change the course of the game. Even though Judy was the main receiver in Alabama, Ruggs was kind of the guy every defense had to plan around because he is just so crazy fast. You have the safeties not crashing down as hard. You have linebackers playing on their heels a little bit. So it loosens up the center of that defense. Guys like Jamison Crowder or uh, you know Chris Herndon, Le'Veon Bell could have a little more space to work with underneath. And you can tell Joe Douglas really likes the whole speed thing. We went As soon as Robbie wound up going to the Carolina Panthers, we went out and signed Rashad Perriman, who was even faster than Robbie. <laughs> And, you know, he realizes that speed absolutely wins games in the NFL. What does it mean for the Jets sitting at number 11? Well, we've talked about the tackles, and I really think three of the top tackles at least are going to be off the board. So you're talking the fourth best tackle versus possibly the best wide receiver. So this is this is an interesting dilemma for the New York Jets because left tackle is absolutely by far the more pressing need, especially when you consider the drop off of talent from the top four offensive tackles compared to the top three wide receivers. The bust rate for a wide receiver in the first round and the second round is about 50%. So you can kind of take one in the second round and expect the same ish gamble uh, where left tackle is going to be a lot different. You can really only get a left tackle at the top maybe 15 picks of the draft. And then other than that, you kind of got to get a little lucky. Some of the other ways this could work out for the Jets if they're blowing smoke is they could be trying to get another team to jump in front of them. That way, one of the offensive tackles slides down a little bit further. Maybe the Browns are looking for more picks. Maybe the Jaguars are looking for more picks. Teams that could, in theory, take an offensive lineman just before the Jets pick. I think Joe Douglas really wants to rebuild this offensive line. He's redone it through free agency. I think the, the interesting dilemma for me is, does Joe Douglas like all four of these tackles? Does he only like three of them? Receiver, you could always get later on the draft. But if Ruggs is the pick, if we are, so let's say we're not trying to get a team to trade in front of us. There's the thought that you could slide back. Jets definitely need more picks to, uh, to accumulate some talent. So do the Jets slide back a little bit and, you know, maybe Judy and Lamb go to the 49ers and the Raiders right in front of us and, you know, they get the third wide receiver of the bunch. That's a possibility too. Now, when I look at Ruggs, I see someone who has been healthy his whole career. A lot of deep threats like a Deshaun Jackson, like a Will Fuller. Those guys tend to get injured. Odell Beckham, the guy winds up, you know, pulling a hamstring every year. So deep threats tend to have, be injury prone. That's one of the reasons why Robbie Anderson was so valuable was because of his health. Tyre, or not Tyree Kill. Henry Ruggs is very much in the healthy category as far as everything I've seen. If the Jets were to take Ruggs at 11, that means the Jets are going total speed on offense. This is definitely an interesting thing to think about because 
Sam, for me, looked like he sort of struggled on those deep passing routes to Robbie. It felt like Robbie was always kind of coming back to the ball or waiting for the ball to come get to him. And that could be more of a product of the Jets' offensive line and Sam not being able to step up into the pocket. So I, I could be reading into that a little bit too much. Henry Ruggs, very interesting. If you take him, I think there, I want the Jets to double dip at wide receiver at some point. I don't particularly want a receiver in the first round. I just I think the fourth tackle versus the number one wide receiver, that's a little bit more interesting of a conversation. Um, but if you take Ruggs, he possesses a skill that Judy and Lamb do not have, whereas a second or third round wide receiver may have the bigger body type like a Judy or like a Lamb that I kind of want. Like if I if we take Ruggs in round one and we satisfy the left tackle needs, whether it be Jason Peters, Trent Williams, uh, Kelvin Beecham coming back, or a second round left tackle, if we're looking at another wide receiver, I would still like us to go after maybe a Michael Pittman if he were to fall. Uh, Chase Claypool is a guy I'm very high on. I'm shocked he's actually not in the top 10 or top 12 of receivers. Every, anywhere I'm looking, it's it's kind of tough to to get a good reading on him. But if we get him in the third round with Ruggs in the first, and then you satisfy left tackle in some capacity, that would be a crazy fast offense and a really good upgrade for Sam Darnold. Guys, let me know what you think about Henry Ruggs down in the comments below. Do you think this is just a smokescreen? Do the Jets have genuine excitement or genuine... Uh, need for Henry Ruggs? Do you think they will make him the pick at number 11 or if they were to trade down? Let me know everything in the comments. Don't forget to tune in on Thursday for the Jets Live Draft Party right here on Jets Talk 24-7. I'll see you guys in the comments, and as always, go Jets! Jets!